Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday. It is the Earth Master here, June 11th, 2024. It is uh, 7.25 a.m. California time, 9.25 a.m. Uh, Texas time here. And latest activity shows a 1.9 into the area of Alaska. Latest quake there on the globe. Uh, let's see, so what do we got here in the last... 24 hours or so really no major big earthquake activity to take note of here the last one looks to be a 5.4 in the philippines area now we did see some more tremor activity uh yesterday here let me bring up the uh, tremor map the newest one uh, i'm talking about tremor along the cascadia subduction zone this is yesterday's tremor count 457 epicenters of tremor again situated down here across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. So we went over this a little bit in yesterday's update and provided a up next video in more detailed uh, information video um, in yesterday's update. So not going to go over this a lot, but obviously the tremor activity is still continuing. And in the last week here, just in the last week, it's been fairly consistent in terms of the amount of tremor down here across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Coming up on almost 3,000 epicenters of tremor. And again, it's situated right here at the southern end of the Cascadia. Really no new uh, earthquake update here to provide in terms of any surface adjustment going on. But obviously, with the continued tremor activity, we're looking at continued strain and obviously an enhancement uh, potential further movement out here across the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, now let's see our last quake here in this area was a 2.9 26 kilometers deep. This has nothing to do with the mountain ranges here. This is down into the subduction zone level itself at that depth. 2.9 is the latest quake there in that area. Uh, down into the California region here, not uh, seeing too much activity out here. Handful of smaller quakes up and down the state. Really no major movement to take note of. Uh, through the Intermountain West areas here, moderate uh, small microquake activity out here. There's that little earthquake in the Mammoth area of Yellowstone National Park that I was looking for. Uh, let me pull up the Yellowstone overview here real quick. That showed up as a 2.5, right? 2.5 over here north of Yellowstone Lake. And that did show up here across the majority of the seismograph stations here. I'm chatting about this one right here. And that uh, did show up across various stations there. Aside from that, not a whole lot going on since then. So uh, things continue to remain quiet across the area of Yellowstone National Park. Let me get back over here and check the rest of the country before we go on to Hawaii. A little earthquake out there in Oklahoma, 2.3 coming in in the last hour. Uh, same for the Texas oil fields. Really nothing new to report out here across the eastern portion of the country uh, for now. South America area, just minimal, small microquakes, or not microquakes, but uh, moderate earthquake activity, a four-pointer and a 4.7 there from yesterday. Uh, really not a whole lot new, not a whole lot of newer activity out here today. If you look on the globe here, uh, a mixed bag of older quakes from yesterday and some smaller newer quake activity today, but just generally somewhat quiet once again here across the uh, plate tectonic map. All right, uh, let's check out the volcano activity there across Kilauea Volcano on the Big Island. We're going up as far as inflation goes yesterday. Uh, let's see here. Let's move into the deformation data here. Had a few thunderstorms out here in uh, Texas today. Kind of nice. Being woken up by a little bit of lightning and thunder. We got, uh, there's a continued inflation in the past two days. Past week shows uh, consistent inflation. Here is the past month here. This is when the eruption took place there on the southwest rift zone of Kilauea Volcano. Very short-lived eruption uh, for about 10 hours or so. Obviously, we lost a little bit of magma um, due to that eruption, but now we're going back up and up and up and up here, and we haven't seen any signs of it uh, dwindling out. So it's going to be interesting to see what takes place here in the next week or so in terms of 
um, the amount of magma that's underneath this area and what's going to happen whether we're going to see another eruption in the in the region nearby or maybe a displacement of magma uh, off to one of the rift zones so we'll continue to keep an eye on that um let's see here i'm going to go over to the geonet servers here real quick see what's going on here looks like they had a 3.8 yesterday north island area uh, a handful of smaller quakes out here I'm sure as well I'm looking for anything that would be uh, of major interest out here still seeing some deep activity on the North Island region underneath the North Island area I should say uh, not a whole lot of large-scale movement though taking place for now uh, solar ham I guess I gotta go over here see what else fairly quiet since yesterday's near X flare uh, looks like for the most part we've just seen uh, some low-grade sea flare activity overnight and this morning really things are going to start getting quiet here uh, I have a feeling over the next week or two as we're looking at a whole bunch of sunspots here but goodness they are not complex whatsoever in fact the majority of the sunspots look like they are continuing to decay and decline out here and really no interesting areas out here that I can see at all. So uh, we'll be entering into a, a quiet period. The flare threat has gone down here, about 15% chance. M flare at 70, C flare around 99% chance there. And the proton event has pretty much disappeared uh, across the polar regions. Just getting a little bit of C flare activity right now, so that's why we're seeing uh, a little bit of um, activity there on the global delayer absorption map. And that does look like that sea flare activity is coming off of that far side sunspot now. The source of numerous X flares here recently. And we'll just we'll keep an eye on it. I mean, we, we get a visual here of the far side of the sun. We'll see if it remains complex or not. See if it uh, makes its way back around for a third time here uh, in about two weeks or so. There's really not a whole lot here on the far side of the sun. If you look, this is all activity that's going to be coming towards us from the eastern limb here. So that will come into the earth directed view which is this side right here not a whole lot we would see darker colors something like that right compared to this nothingness and there's not a whole lot out here on the far side of the sun in terms of interesting activity so that's why i said it's going to be a little quiet out here in terms of space weather events really no major corona holes out here either and uh, let's see what we got here for the storm prediction center in terms of severe weather um, like i said there's a little bit of thunderstorm activity out here in texas today not really expecting much uh, just some wind and some hail threats out here it looks like uh, and aside from that tomorrow's outlook here for wednesday shows um, slight risk for some tornado activity up there in the portions of minnesota with a five percent chance there of tornado possibilities uh, wind and hail threats up there as well. We're getting into that time of year where uh, the severe weather tends to shift up here into the northern plains and obviously eventually up into uh, Canada area. But for now, uh, just a little bit of uh, activity to watch here over the next couple days in terms of severe weather. Uh, slight risk there for the day on Thursday. So we'll just uh, keep an eye on things here and see what happens out here. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, there's really not a whole lot of significant movement taking place out here right now. Just a little on the quiet side. Hope everyone has a good day. And um, we'll keep an eye on things out here. You know, the, the stuff happening out on the Cascadia subduction zone trimmer. It's something to watch, something to document. That way, in the future here, we'll be able to... Uh, you know, maybe look back and say this is what we've seen prior to any type of large event or maybe we've seen a huge amount of trimmer with no event and then it, it's it's an interesting study here watching this activity throughout the years you know obviously back in 1700 we didn't have any type of instruments to measure trimmer or even measure earthquake activity so we do uh, but trimmer activity right now is fairly it's it's been it's a fairly new study and uh 
Just kind of watching it here. Seeing what plays out. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later. In the meantime, enjoy your Tuesday. Goodness, just Tuesday. I guess I suppose Friday's right around the corner. A couple days down the road, right? Alright, have yourself a good one. Missy Mimi's out here. Say hi, Missy Mimi's. Hi guys. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on. Take care, folks. Stay safe.